In this session, we shall discuss the working of basic inverter circuit and how to set up this uh, circuit and observe its working. In this lab uh, practice, this basic uh, inverter circuit uh, converts a DC into AC. So, we will be able to lighten a small bulb. Uh, this will uh, generate an AC of a small uh, wattage, or wattage also. Basic inverter, you, we all know the inverter converts from DC to AC and uh, we expect a sinusoidal output from a DC signal. But in this case, since this is a demonstrating circuit, only a square wave output we get. Uh, the basic circuit diagram is this. This is the simplest basic inverter circuit. This part is gate driver. It drives the gates of two switches. Both the switches are MOSFET. We select IF, IRF 540 MOSFET and uh, a transformer which converts, which transforms a smaller voltage to uh, same so smaller voltage at the output. The working is this, the transistor Q1 and Q2 will be alternatively switched on and off by this circuit. 3525 uh, as we all know a PWM generator. We have designed this circuit for 50 hertz because we need 50 hertz sign uh, AC at the output. Though it is not a sinusoidal signal, it is a square wave. So, this will generate 50 hertz uh, PWM output and in turn that will switch on Q1 and Q2 one after other automatically and in turn this 12 volt will be available in the upper half of the secondary and lower half of the secondary and the transformer will couple this fast changing uh, voltage appears across the secondary at the output. This is about generally we know about the components and the circuit diagram. Now we shall design this circuit. The design aspects, first we use a VCC supply of a 12 volt for this uh, IC because for VCC supply uh, maximum permitted is 35 volt and the minimum is 8 volt. So, we select appropriately 12 volt as VCC. And uh, this is a linear potentiometer which is used to vary the available voltage 5.1 from 0 to 5.1. This voltage available at pin number 16 is 5.1 volt. So, by varying this using that linear potentiometer, we can vary the duty cycle there. And uh, these three sensors these two resistors and the capacitor together will uh, decide the frequency of oscillation. The equation is 1 by 0.7 uh, RT plus 3 RD outside the bracket in the denominator it is CT. This is the equation, we will see that. And the other side that uh, resistance is 100 ohm each connected in the base is for uh, uh, limiting the gate current of the MOSFETs. So, when Q1 is turned on, we know instantaneously that voltage DC voltage VI, that 12 volt will be appearing across the upper half of the primary with negative on top and positive at the middle. Now, that voltage will be transformed to the secondary and lamp will glow if its opposite voltage again comes here because when Q2 turns on and Q, Q1 turns off, voltage 12 volt DC instantaneously appears across the lower half of the secondary with the positive at the middle of that midpoint of the transformer and negative at the end, the lower end of the transformer secondary. That voltage immediately will be transformed coupled to the secondary coil of the transformer. This is the basic working. 
and uh, this transformer is selected uh, with uh, 12012 12012 12 at the input to 231 we all use a uh, step down transformer 230 to 12012 uh, transformer that uh, same transformer we can use it here that step down transformer can be used it here in the opposite direction that uh, secondary can be connected at the primary here so first transistor i repeat it is 232 1202 232 1202 transformer is used this actually comes in the secondary but now we connect it in the primary uh, just for demonstration purpose and uh, lamp is connected at the output now we shall see how this is designed under arm transformer resistors are connected there see our objective is to generate 230 volt 50 hertz square wave from 12 volt input uh, we select a lamp 10 watt lamp which will operate which will function in 230 volt a current limiting resistor of 100 ohms used in both the uh, gates of the MOSFET uh, and uh, in the gate drive circuit this is the equation F is equal to 1 by 0.7 RT plus 3D into CT uh, this uh, RT this RD we can select up to 500 ohms as per the data sheet 100 to 500 so we select uh, some 500 uh, or 200 there and uh, RT and CT can be from as per data sheet it can be from 0.2 up to 0.2 microfarad from 0 0.0001 microfarad to 0.2 microfarad so you can select these two then we can get RT RT will get uh, sufficiently high uh, in the range of 100 or 150 kilo ohm this is what exactly we do here rd we select 100 ohms and putting in that equation with the ct 0.2 microfarad we get 142 so we select a standard value for the resistor 150 kilo ohms uh, and uh, the procedure for this circuit is very simple set up the circuit and uh, connect it and switch it on the entire circuit you will find the glowing of the lamp that is the working of the circuit